Row 18, plot 20. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the JLA member channel. I'm Jim, and I have a small Funko haul that I've been uh, wanting to make a video for, but I was very busy through October. Uh, we have some Disney pops and some ad icons. So um, I'm going to start with the two ad icons because I've just picked these up at 7-Eleven. These are the Blacklight slurpees there are two versions that i am aware of the blue and the green and i uh you know collect some of the ad icon type stuff so i picked these up for the collection these were a little expensive i'm not gonna lie uh but it is cool to have some exclusives in the collections of Funkos and whatnot and then uh, this has the 7-Eleven exclusive sticker. Um, these will be displayed in my fast food display collection downstairs and you can see the texturing of the Slurpee. Um, I don't know it's weird when Funko makes these products and they just slap on some hands and some eyeballs um you know it's a money grab but you know what they get my money every time here's the green version uh the green probably looks better in black light um than the blue but uh, it looks like the, the blue has maybe cherry or watermelon flavor uh, and this one is purple, so it must be grape. All right. And then this one has pink feet and little feet sandals. There's the ad icons. So keeping with black light theme i have a funko shop exclusive i got this in a mystery growl box uh and i only bought the one so i didn't like make a video for it but this is the mad hatter who is a great character so i was happy to get this and it's a blacklight version and honestly the blacklight is growing on me so much i say that every time i get one but um I love the box art, I think, more than anything else. I think it's the box that I'm more drawn to than it is the actual Funko. That's a Funko Shop exclusive. I got that at mrgrell.com. And I was able to also get from the Funko Shop barrel. For some reason, through the course of time, uh, I lost barrel. I had, you know, almost a complete Nightmare Before Christmas set. Um, I had Lock and Shock, and for some reason didn't have Barrel, and now I do, so I have the complete set of those. And now the real meat and potatoes, the two that I've been really needing to complete um, a set of Darkwing Duck figures, Gosselin Mallard, and the Darkwing Duck Disney series. I am a huge Darkwing Duck fan. Um, I do need to get Launchpad, but that's really, really expensive. So in my search for Launchpad, though, um, I came across Negatron 2017 Summer Convention Exclusive Glow in the Dark Chase. Uh, so I snatched that up real quick. Very happy to get this one. Um, I have the common, I believe, and I have the re-released Darkwing Duck, and uh, just a big, big fan of these. So that's it, short and sweet. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of my Funkos. Uh, maybe which one was your favorite? Do you collect? What do you collect? Um, if you'd like to see more horror-related parts of my collection, you can check out Now It's Dark. That link is in the description down below. And you can also check me out 
at my Instagram, which is Jim underscore Martin 666. And uh, you can message me there or you can just wait for me to post something very silly and stupid uh, because I, that's what I do. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.